Different schools belonging to Tibetan Buddhism today include the Nyingma founded by Padmasambhava, Kagyu founded by Tilopa, Sakya founded by Konchok Gyalpo and his son Sachin Kungya Ningpo and Gelug founded by Songkhapa Lapsang Drakpa. The teachings of Tibetan Buddhism focus on an awareness of death and the ephemeral nature of life leading to diligence in meditation and spiritual practice. Mandalas, prayer flags and thangka paintings are visual reminders for practitioners on the path. One of the renowned masters of this religion is Jetson Milarepa, meaning Milarepa the revered one, a former magician who became a yogi, poet and hermit this spiritual hero of Tibet lived from 1052 to 1135 and his story of personal redemption has inspired lives across many generations. Through songs called Dohas, Jetson Milarepa imparted divine teachings on spiritual devotion and wisdom. Supreme Master Tsinghai has spoken about the venerated Milarepa on several occasions as during this lecture given in 1992 at the Sihu Ashram in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Milarepa, Tada 他还要继续修行有没有他都尊重他的师父Today we present to you an excerpt from the holy text of Tibetan Buddhism titled 60 Songs of Milarepa Vegetarian. 60 Songs of Milarepa Song 14 When Milarepa was sitting in meditation, a frightened deer dashed by, followed by a ravening hound. By the power of his loving kindness and compassion, met the Karuna, Milarepa made them lie down, one on either side of him, and then priest to them. Then came the fierce and proud huntsman, Chirwa Gunbo Dorje, who was enraged by the sight of the jetson and shot an arrow at him, but missed. Milarepa sang to him, and his heart began to turn to the Dharma. Then the hunter saw that, Milarepa was living an austere life and great faith arose in him. He wished then to practice dharma after talking with his family, but the Jetson warned him that his present meritorious thought might change and he sang, Harkan, harkan, huntsman, though the thunder crashes, it is but empty sound. Though the rainbow is richly colored, it will soon fade away. The pleasures of this world are like dream visions. Though one enjoys them, they are the source of sin. Though all we see may seem to be eternal, it will soon fall to pieces and will disappear. Yesterday perhaps one had enough or more, 
all today is gone and nothing's left last year one was alive this year one dies good food turns into poison and the beloved companion turns into a foe harsh words and complaints requite good will and gratitude your sins hurt no one but yourself among 100 hates you value most your own in all 10 fingers if one is cut you feel the pain among all things you value yourself is valued most the time has come for you to help yourself life flies fast soon death will knock upon your door it is foolish therefore once devotion to postpone what else can loving kings man do but throw one into samsara to strive for happiness hereafter is more important than to seek it now the time has come for you to rely upon a guru the time has come to practice dharma song 15 if one is really determined to free oneself from the sufferings of samsara such as birth old age illness death and so on he will have peace of mind all the time and will not need to make any effort otherwise he should bear in mind that the sufferings in a future life could be much more durable and longer lasting than those in this life and the burden could also be much heavier it is therefore of paramount importance to take steps to prepare for the next life this was said to some young men from his native country who asked how they could extricate themselves from worldly affairs then milare pa said please harken and i will sing a song for you we sentient beings moving in the world float down the flowing stream of the four sufferings compared to this how much more formidable are the unceasing future lives in samsara why not then prepare a boat for the crossing the state of our future lives is far more fearful and deserving of far more concern than are the dreadful demons ghosts and yama so why not prepare for yourself a guide even the dread passions craving hatred and blindness are not so fearful as the state of our unknown future so why not prepare for yourself an antidote great is the kingdom of the three realms of samsara but greater is the endless road of birth and death so why not prepare for yourself provisions it will be better if you practice dharma if you have no assurance in yourselves milarepa said a human body free and opportune is as precious as a jewel and to have a chance to practice the dharma is likewise very rare also to find one serious buddhist in a hundred is difficult considering the difficulties of meeting the right gurus and other necessary favorable conditions for practicing buddhism you should deem yourselves very fortunate that you have now met all these requirements do not therefore waste them but practice the dharma song 51 a young shepherd by the name of sanjay jha who was 16 years old became interested in knowing what his mind really was milarepa tested his ability by instructing him to go for refuge to the three precious ones and then to visualize a buddha image in front of his nose the boy was not seen for 7 days 
and his father feared that he was dead. They found him in a clay pit sitting upright and asked him why he had not returned home for seven days. The boy said that they must be joking for he had only been there a short time but it was seven days. While giving him instructions, Milarepa sang to him about his mind. Listen to me, dear shepherd, the protector of sheep. By merely hearing of the taste of sugar, sweetness cannot be experienced. Though one's mind may understand what sweetness is, it cannot experience it directly. Only the tongue can know it. In the same way, one cannot see in full the nature of mind, though he may have a glimpse of it, if it has been pointed out by others, if one relies not on this one glimpse, but continues searching for the nature of mind, he will see it fully in the end. Dear Shepherd, in this way you should observe your mind. Song 52 Listen to me, young shepherd. The body is between the conscious and unconscious state. While the mind is the crucial and decisive factor, he who feels sufferings in the lower realms is the prisoner of samsara. Yet it is the mind that can free you from samsara. Surely you want to reach the other shore? Surely you long for the city of well-being and liberation? If you desire to go, dear child, I can show the way to you and give you the instructions 